Hello everyone, welcome to a new video of Crypto Michael. Today we are going to discuss Mages Saturday and we are going to discuss Ontology, Stellar, VeChain and Cardano and some background stuff on how to trade these coins. If you like my content, please like beneath or reply with your own view or your reply with your feedback. Everything is needed to grow this channel. Um, if you want to stay tuned, please subscribe to the channel so we can uh, so you can stay uh, up to date with the daily videos that I'm providing on this YouTube channel. So as I said, today we're going to discuss Ontology, Stellar, VeChain and Cardano as it's Major Saturday. Um, and Majors are significantly heating up for a big move. Overall, we are still acting above the 100 day and 200 day MA on the total market cap, altcoin market cap, Ethereum is doing it and uh, these majors are also doing it. While there's also volume increase and overall I see the engagement on social media platforms increasing regarding crypto. So I think we are uh, on, the, on the edge of breaking out of this bear market towards a bull market which is called the disbelief phase and the disbelief phase is in general uh, the phase where bulls and bears are constantly fighting with each other as there are conflicting ideas well what we've seen is that VeChain and Cardano have been moving heavily already and what we also see is that the construction on these coins before they moved are the same as uh, on other mages right now. So they, the other mages are lagging behind heavily and even Ethereum is ready for a big move. And once Ethereum starts to move, you know that the rest of the market is ready to follow. Does that mean that you have to jump over from VeChain or Cardano to another one? And am I saying that? No, this video is not financial advice. It's just solely my own view and you can only use that to adapt in your own strategy. But what I want to say is that you have to make a plan before you take every trade. If you do that and you follow it consistently, you are ahead of 90% of the traders. Just a few days ago, someone messaged me with the question that he opened a 20x long on VeChain at one cent and he didn't know what to do. Then I asked him, did you make a plan before you took the trade? And he said, yeah, I did make the plan, but it went faster. Which is the assumption then that it already hit the target levels, but he did not have these target levels and kept it open. That's not following your plan consistently. If you enter a trade essentially also with such a high leverage, you make a plan, you execute it and you move on. If you are in a position that is moving faster than you anticipated, who cares? You took your profits, you've made your money, move on. What would you do if you barely miss your TP? Would you have the same thoughts then? No, you would be sad that you've missed the TP. So always follow your plan and make partial profits on uh, TPs. There's no need to market buy, market sell, just execute your plan. Then, is buying Cardano and Fiji the right move right now? Well, if I would do that, if I had to put money into a basket right now, I'm not going to watch for coins that have been moving already. These coins have seen their hype for a little bit and the likelihood of them correcting or stabilizing is significantly larger than further upwards continuation. And that's not because I'm against these projects or something. I'm just focused on the TA and how the, they usually move. And I do, I do expect Cardano and VeChain and other altcoins to show what they can do in the next years. And I do expect them to make a new land move. And I think the 2017 highs will be crushed. But will they be crushed in one go? No. It's very likely that when something moves up already, they come down for some consolidation before the next surge starts. That's always the case. Nothing goes up in one go. So what you want to do is you're going to look for the setup we've seen. You take that, you print it in your face, in your head, and then 
you're going to look for coins that have the exact same signal and try to get these. Can't you trade a Cardano and Fiji at this moment? You can. Um, however, after such a huge move, the uh, construction is usually based on lo in lower interval time frames. So for instance, the one hour and two hour support resistance levels rather than on the daily. So when you have to drop in time frames, you're also dropping in sizing as it's more becoming a scalp or day trade rather than a swing trade. And then you adapt. Um, what do you do if you hold these two? That's depending on your strategy. If you are an investor, then you're probably not watching this video and your horizon is multiple years. Um, if I would be an investor, I would not care with this move and I'll just keep and just uh, stick with it until like we are further in the cycle. Uh, maybe took partial profits of like 10 or 20 percent and then just increase and accumulate my bag still. Um, but overall, if you're an investor, you let it roll and you just only take the very high time frames. However, if you are in a trade on boat and you're already in profits and you wrote it all, just like the dude has been doing, uh, who asked me the question about its 20x leverage move. Well, what's the point of holding any of these coins for two weeks and expecting a slight further upwards move to occur while you are, well, the likelihood of this coin to consolidate is higher through which you are going to lose money. Uh, effectively, you're going to lose money by holding this back. And you've got opportunity costs of not jumping over to another one that's actually identical before the move of a fee chain or Cardano occurred. Opportunity costs arise. Opportunity costs and compound interest. So that's why taking partial profits or full profits depending on your strategy is essential. Compound interest is amazing in the eighth world wonder. If you are able to flip your profits in a fast pace with 10 times 10% 10 profit on 1000 bucks, you'll be at 2600. With 20 times, you'll be at 6.7k. So it's not about the size of your trades and I see more and more people sharing their size of the trades which only attracts the wrong people who are after this money and are looking up to the money. That's the wrong focus. People are always focused on material stuff, uh, numbers on the bank account. But that's not the case. If you're focusing on that, you're doing it wrong. It's about the understanding of what you're doing and the quality of the trades and if you understand that concept the money will come itself and when you get to that point that you make such an amount of money you start to realize that the money doesn't care so if you make a fuck ton of money use that to help people who don't get a chance to get to the level where you are but start by just focusing on the quality of your trades and go from there rather than oh i have to use leverage because then i make more money nothing is certain in life it's all about probabilities so r for now we're going to check the ta or feature in cardano ontology and xlm and i'll share what my view is regarding these four coins so first we have feature and um monday morning i will be sharing more content on why I do believe that Bitcoin is also ready for such a big move to occur. Um, as VeChain has some significant signals in this structure. For this whole period, it is just accumulation and we broke out of it. But what happened in March is that the all-time low was crushed, which essentially took everyone out who did not believe in the project. And since then we had a compression structure in which we broke this resistance level ready towards the next resistance level made a slight compression and no retest of the previous area which is similar to the 6.8k zone of bitcoin broke through it one year resistance zone it as you know even uh, longer almost two years flipped it bull flag continuation bullish pennant what you make of it breakout and then you see that there's not many levels in between probably these are the levels you would be taking partial profits and then it ready towards the next level however it's a 180 percent surge and then the likelihood of establishing a range is far higher than continuation 
And yes, we've got the massive singles on signals on this one. We got the breakthrough of the 100 day and 200 day MA. We got a serious amount of accumulation. But as you can see on the daily time frame, it's not showing that we're continuing from here. There are just more indications that after such a huge impulse wave, just like we've seen here, just like we've seen here, is that, that just like we've seen here actually, is that we start to consolidate. And this consolidation took about three and a half week. On a daily time frame, you don't see any entry right now, despite the levels we have been pointing, which are uh, one and a half and 1.4 cents, the area around one cent. That are the zones you want to be interested on swing trade wise. So how can you trade VeChain? Yes, of course. You can still use the lower time frames, which is this block and gave a pretty nice entry to start trading. And if you zoom in some more, you can actually start using the one hour scalp time frames in which you can see a range. So can, can't we go further up? Yes, we can. If we break this range high, we probably take the highs here. But then if we retest this previous high, we know that we're going to consolidate even further. And then we might get bearish diffs on the one on the daily time frame. If we lose this support level, it's very likely that we're going to test the lower level here and then make a further corrective move. So here you see what I've just said. Lower time frames you can use for scalp trading, but all these levels you see here, you can't see on the daily time frame. So then you adapt your sizing. So we see that VeChain has been moving heavily already, which would mean that if you remember this structure over here on VeChain, you can actually see the identical structure on Ontology. And Ontology is showing the identical identical volume accumulation here and once ontology starts to move it has the exact same significant hard moves that occur so we do have a resistance zone at 165 we do have this resistance area to actually between 95 cents and 108 which is a resistance for a year already and what we see is that we're constantly flipping levels for support here we did a test as well and now we are compressing and I believe that if we break this compression we are going towards one dollar in one go. And then we have to see we might even go towards this block here around 138. But I think we are going to see an identical massive breaker as we have witnessed here. So the most likely scenario is that after such uh, a compression period where all the lows are taken out as well, flipping the one on a day and two on a day may increase of volume. We most likely get an impulse wave towards 138 or just a slight compression here in which we flip the 95 cents level and then to 138 and then we reject and flip this one dollar buck level before we get the next surge and then I would not be surprised if we get even towards three bucks or 250. So what we see here is that VeChain did the move already. Ontology is starting to show identical signals to VeChain. However, VeChain did it in May. And Ontology is currently on the level where VeChain used to be in May. So it's just lagging behind almost two months. And that's not odd. That just happens. So Ontology, as long as we stay above 65 cents, I think it's going to continue and follow the identical moves as VeChain. Also on the BTC pair, increase in volume above these 100 day and 200 day MA levels for the first time since the whole uh, bear market. This is also one case, but it was a fake out. In this case, we've had a long accumulation range and now we're looking to uh, get the breaker above this resistance of 800 sets. Then we get a test of 1074, which is approximately 35%, uh, which puts ontology to like 120, 135. You might wick a little bit further. So I think Ontology is just showing what VeChain did before the, the huge search occurred. And even the BTC pair of VeChain is showing signals that we are most likely done for a little while. Stuck in a range, similar figure to the UCT pair. Um, you can still trade it, break out of 212 and we target 250, losing 190. And we're going to look at 164 and 150 as potential levels. So. This is an explanation to see, okay, these coins are identical to each other. Then we also have Cardano, 
which did the exact same figure only then faster um, broke further up tested resistance flipped this previous block for support which is also the previous uh, high very small retrace similar bullish patterns uh, construction and massive breakout further through which at this point on the daily time frame you have the identical view as v chain in which 10 cents is usually just the level you are going to watch for entries there's none further yes we can continue and then we most likely continue to 17 cents but if we put back towards land you can see that once it starts to break out it also has retraces and consolidation periods okay and see identical move up huge accumulation period and then a massive break further so um let's see and go back towards cardano uct pair what we see here on the four hour time frame is that we're currently at support and uh, we are looking to see whether we can hold this if we hold this then we probably test the range high again in which this left was the first one like an in for instance if we get something like this i would not be surprised the same example as on fee chain lower time frames you can trade them but it's lower sizing higher time frames after such a move you're most likely going to watch for uh, higher time frame consolidations uh, before you take a new entry but this compression here is identical to um, on day right now fee chain before it move and what we see here this compression period flip of the previous resistance zone is identical to what we see on stellar which broke a one year resistance level and is currently consolidating and flipped the previous high for support also volume uh, increase flipped this previous high at eight cents for support looking likely for continuation you don't really want to lose the eight cents level and on lower time frames you don't really want to see stella drop beneath this nine cent zone is the entry gone on stella right now i think it is but um ontology is still showing a signal that you want to have and if on, uh, stella starts to show acceleration after probably a week of consolidation I think the next resistance zone is between 15 to 16 cents and then we get the same consolidation before the next move towards 25 cents most likely XLAM BTC pair identical one year accumulation range um, I've got it on a 2D, 2D actually broke above the 100 day and 200 day MA flipped the range high for uh, support and now looking for continuation towards 1500 to 1600 sets all right, that was my 18 minute video. I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope you like my content. So please like beneath or subscribe to the channel. And I'll be back tomorrow with my second edition of top five altcoins to trade. And I wish you a wonderful weekend. Stay tuned.